Hey guys, coming to you from the attic of a house under construction where I want to give you a tour of this HVAC system and tell you a couple of the best practices that I integrate into all my systems. But first, as we're walking over here, let me tell you where we are. We're in the attic space, which is above the kitchen family room downstairs. And eventually this will be a conditioned attic space. We're actually going to be using spray foam in between the rafters. So this will be part of the air conditioned envelope. It's really important to bring your ducts and your HVAC system inside the HVAC space of your house. Now, if you're in the north, you probably have a basement to put your HVAC, but if you're in the south and you're slab on grade, you often only have attics to put the HVAC system. This is a great way to bring all of your ducts in that a conditioned space. Okay, now let me show you the system we've got here. This big gray box you see here kind of looks like a standard box that you might have in any American house. But in fact, this is a Mitsubishi system. And the beauty of this system is that it connects outside to a very high efficiency compressor. You may have heard of Mitsubishi and you may think about a mini split or that head on the wall. Those are super efficient, but the reason why they're very efficient is the compressor outside and their technology, which was originally developed in the 70s called variable refrigerant flow. In fact, it was the Americans that designed this, but after the 70s, the, uh, both the Germans, the Koreans, and the Japanese took it over and have been using it ever since. Now this system here, this big gray box, looks like a standard upflow. It's going to have standard grills and registers in the house, but outside is that VRF compressor, which means instead of a standard system that has one speed or two speeds, you know, it's either running off or all on, or it's running maybe two-thirds speed and 100%, the unit outside that feeds this machine is variable. It can go from 15% of capacity all the way up to 100%. It can modulate anywhere in between, which means that on a day that's not super hot out, it can run at 50% or 40%, or as it gets hotter through the day, it can ramp up the compressor outside and give you more capacity. Amazing system. Okay, now let's look at a couple specifics on this install. We're on the return side now, and the first thing that I wanna encourage you to do is no matter what system you do, put a really good filtration in. ASHRAE guidelines now have, have said you want to have at least a MERV 11 filter in your house. That's what this one is. This is called a pleated media filter. This is about four inches thick. You're only going to have to replace this once a year. And you can actually replace this with a MERV 13, which is a little better filtration. It's a really nice system. April Air makes some of these and a couple other manufacturers do as well. But start with MERV 11 as your standard and consider moving up to a MERV 13. Don't use those little one inch pleated ones that come standard in the machine. Okay, next thing I wanna show you, look how this unit's up in the air. We're at kind of waist level here. We actually hung this unit with some all thread up to the rafters. And then the base of this unit is sitting on some unistrut. That's a kind of a C channel that you often see in commercial buildings. And then all that comes down here to this, this little red spring gives the unit some ability to vibrate or move just slightly, but not vibrate that floor below. Very cool system, I, great installed by my guys at Airright. Now as we come to the supply side, a couple things I wanna mention here. I'm a big believer in using rigid metal for your trunk lines. Look at this line right here coming off the supply. We've got a rigid elbow in there. There's probably a turning vein in here. This is all rigid metal. Insulate on the outside so there's no insulation, there's no ductboard or fiberboard in the airstream. And then here's a good example. As we get to the end of the line, this is a short run here because we're feeding the family room. The rigid metal comes to here and then we've transitioned to flex. We just have about 10 feet of flex duct at the end. The benefit of transitioning to flex at the end is it's going to quiet down the airstream. If you used rigid metal all the way to the duct, or pardon me, all the way to the uh, register, you might have some additional air noise there from that airflow through there. This is going to quiet it down. And look at this textbook install. My HVAC contractor strapped it at each location. We're nice and strapped. It's nice and straight. He's really turned it well. Excellent install. Talk to your clients. Talk to your builders. Make sure you get your system designed. Positive Energy did a great job on this design. And remember, this HVAC equipment, it's going to be around 20, 25 years but your duct system is gonna be around a lot longer and typically is very inaccessible. So it's a big remodel to replace your duct someday. Specify a good system. Guys, hopefully you learned something today. We'll see you next time. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's.